So we play our semi-final playoff against Buxton. They are the in-form team of the second half of the season. We are second and they get early goal, ninth minute. We are playing at home as well. So home advantage, but looking at our home form, it's awful. We do get one back, Maloney to Gooda. One all. I didn't do live reaction on this from the last game. I was just like, well, there's no point if we don't get to the final. No one wants to know. Buxton did get man sent off prior to our scoring this. Maloney with a thunder strike just outside the box or just inside. I don't know. I couldn't quite tell. And that's it. It literally, second half was just a dead half that they defended and we kept the ball. That's pretty much how it ended. We need to up our game. <laughs> We will be playing Chester in the final. They came third in the league. So it's quite funny. First is gone. Second and third are in the final. And our two games that we played in the season, we lost them both. First game, we wasn't the manager of Scarborough Athletic. They lost 1-0 at home. And then we played them away. I was manager, so hands up. But we lost 2-0 there. In the final, because I think it's the positioning in the table, we are home against Chester. And as I said, at away form, we only lost all season two games away, one of them being Chester. So if it was away, I would have felt a little bit more confident. Whereas our home form, I'm now feeling this is going to be a hard game. If we lose, I'm going to have to apologise in advance and maybe swearing quite a bit. All right, the team sheets are in. I'm not feeling that confident. I really don't know. But I'm very pleased of what we've done. Obviously, we've taken them from the... We were doing so poor when we took over. I think it was like 16th, 17th in the league. Just on really bad form. And we just exploded and got them up second. So I'm very happy what we did because this season was meant to be building season. And then next season was going to be, right, these are our bad players. Let's bring in replacement players and go for it. But I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. So we've got Cracknell back in goal. I dropped him for the last game because he wasn't happy with my team talking in the last game of the season. At half time, I nearly threw a bottle. We lost full time. I mean, it was such a vital game because if Tamworth did draw or lose and we lost, what a throwaway that was. But luckily, Tamworth one it was out of our hands and um yeah but i was still so furious you would have seen from my reaction anyway cracknell i dropped him for that game this game is so important he has been fairly consistent for us so i've chucked him in willard digi is in godar solomon fantastic center backs probably let down by our goalkeeper and wingbacks if i'm honest so something to strengthen on next season Joe Nolan keeps his place. Perver's just been awful. Perver's meant to be really good in that position. Obviously, don't trust those stars sometimes. But Joe Nolan, he's got the form and he's just playing better in that position. So why not? Maloney, probably our player of the season. Uh, Colville, I've moved him into left forward. But Colville's just not playing that well in Mozilla. He was, he's just not now. And then we've got Tion for right, Colville. And then Colson, he's had a bit of a knock now and again in between games. But I'm hoping our captain and our top goal scorer can produce the goods today to get us promoted. Shall we do it? Wish me luck. Let's go. Our home form is important. Let's go. Use home advantage. Our form's not too bad. 1-1, one, one, loss 1. Still can't believe that loss. It was a bit of a, probably a kick up our arse. How's Chester's form? Same. So exact same form going into this. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I am just watching and here we go. Kickoff is on its way. Be nice to get an early goal. Hate it when the other team gets an early goal and then we're playing catch up and we have to go attacking. We have to shout at our players. I'm going to try and remain positive. Come on, let's do this. So far we've got a bit of momentum. Got for possession, had the first opportunity. One shot, one on target. Uh, and now Chester's got the ball and oh, thought that could just be it. Cracknell just standing there. Who in his pants? Rella DG. That's the hardest name in the team. He's run it all the way down. Fair play. Maloney finds, crosses it in. Goalkeeper's out. Oh, Willis. Is that Willis? Wills. And then got another eye. Oh. Right, we've got a free kick. Maloney whips it in. Back post. Who was that? Oh, Willis. 
I had a feeling, I saw his name up, but I didn't see his, him head it exactly. I thought it was someone else. I thought it was like two players together. Yes, this is the start we wanted. A little bit later on, but this is fantastic. Now they're chasing the game. That could be vital for the way we play with that press. Yeah, things are going well. I know you're better. You can play better. Can we? Can we take it up another notch? Jackson to Meloni. Meloni finds into Green. Green's just come on. Can he find it? Oh, unlucky. Green was on fantastic form before he got injured. He was one of our best attacking players with Colson. Got another attempt here. It's going to be Meloni over for ball. Is he going to go for an attempt or is he going to whip it? Taking time, Maloney. I will celebrate this big time. He's gone for it. Oh, crossbar. That would have been a great free kick if that went in. Mike right, Gooder to Solomon. Jackson, Solomon, Gooder. Come on, don't lose it. Green, Solomon. Ah, oh, no, nah, they've pushed us out. It's okay. We have had momentum all this half, and it's only 1 0. You know what's going to happen. Touch wood, but it doesn't. Oh, no, they've got a corner. Grab it, Craig. No. Oh, he's dropped it. What a idiot. No, I said it as well. Off. Oh, have I just made a massive mistake by playing him? Nine minutes of injury time. Jesus, how much time? Oh, we've got a corner. Can we get a late goal? Just going to blow it. Colville, he's running it in. Penalty. Maloney, green. 120. Third minute, maybe nine minutes injury time. Now Chester's got the ball and it's extra time. Oh my God. We've been for better team. 68% possession, 15 shots, four on target. That's a letdown, four on target. To their six and two on target. So passes completed, 89% to their 78%. Come on, we've been for better team. You are right, Mr. Assistant Manager. Let's go with that. They do come up with... Good things as system managers of suggesting teams. Well, you can be lazy on it as well. Sometimes you just get nervous that so you don't want to say the wrong thing. Uh, I thought it was Oliver. Maloney's still good. He whips it in. If it's Charles, no, it falls to Green. Oh, Colville. Brilliant. Could that be it? Oh, I don't want to attempt fate. Said it as well, didn't I? I think we got to drop back a little bit of our positivity we played really good football they've gone direct they're going to go attacking so we're going to play a bit more balanced holding fire can we make another change i mean the team is knackered all i've got is a center back come on come on come on come on come on come on it's nearly over one minute it's going to be over we're going to get promoted oh it's a shame we didn't win the league because that's another trophy this is nothing right but we are promoted and we Oh, in our first season. I just can't believe it. In our first season. Last football manager, it took us two seasons. Well, a season and a half. Because we actually got the job quite late. Oh, after the last game of the season. Wow, I'm so, so happy. Yeah, new challenge. New challenge in the Unknown to Icon series. Season one tick. What can we do in season two? Well done, lads. Well done indeed there we go there is a money scarborough athletic promoted to national league that is amazing all set initials budget we got a bit of increase to our wage and a 133k of transfer budget i could transfer into wages i guess deeper leads scarborough athletic to promotion bona fide legend yeah i don't think we're going to be an icon yet where do i go club here we go Am I in here yet? Maybe it needs a reset. It'll pro I'll probably be a favoured. Looks so now. We will see. If I become an icon already. <laughs> you know what? As soon as I become an icon, I can move I'm allowed to move club. Right? Because obviously it's that's for achievement. I mean I'd love to be a legend, maybe. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Let's just I mean it's very early. It's season one, right? Yeah, delight at unexpected promotion. Of course. With um media prediction 10th. I took over them when they're 17th and we've got them promoted. Let's now have a look at that. I go into the league and if we click on here. So we took over when they were 20th. They lost to Fastly Celtic. We took over. Our first game was against Hereford. We won 3-1 away as well. And we haven't looked back, right? Because 
it went up, up. That was a great shot to the table. Stagnated there, obviously probably trying to play catch up with the guys in for playoffs positions. Got that catch up, got up there. I don't think we ever actually got top. I think time off was just too far away, but I had a little bit of a slip here. I think that was just a loss against Fastly. Oh no, yeah. we won. We drew. Oh, okay, we drew two games and then we won again. Yeah, and then, and then we was just second all the way through. But it was so close. It went down to the last game of the season. Amazing. Highlight game for me of the season was probably for FA Cup. Then when we get to the second round, yeah. Port Vale got to play League One opposition, Port Vale. So we drew two all at Port Vale and then we lost one now at home. Again, our home form is just letting us down. I don't know why. I found out a good away tactic, it looks like, which is quite rare. I mean, normally it's the other way around. And then it was quite disappointing at FA Trophy, but I was utilising that game to rest players. I mean, I'm not going to go through it in detail. We did pretty all right. And end of the season, so from March, we lost two games. And both at home, funny enough. Tamworth and obviously the last game of the season. Now just a quick look at player overview. I've already put Glenn Taylor on my list uh, because obviously spending, spending more are staying down. So you never know if Glenn Taylor wants to come to me. I will try and snap him up. Josh Hines as well, I mean, he's 21 years old. This is what we like to do, just whack some players in here. Really young player here. Shortlist, he might be on loan. Colson came seventh, he scored 21 goals out of 36 games for us. Really, really good. Oh, so for 36, uh, 33 plus loads of sub appearances. Sorry, that's my bad. He's 36. Don't think he's going to be around too long. He's going to be back up striking next year, I think. But again, we need to bring a new one in. High intensity sprints and Ashley Jackson. But he played awful. Maybe it was just his defending. Uh, Willard G, again, wing backs. I mean, great sprinting and that. That's just the way we play. Colson penalties, yeah, 10 out of 10. Wow, he was a great penalty taker for us. And you look at his, yeah, 15. Of course. I will keep, try and keep him in my squad next season if I can. You just never know, contract negotiations might just fail. Progressive passes, Jackson, Brown, so our wing backs, really progressive. Team goals, Colville, Maloney, Gooder. Average rating, oh, Green's up there. Yeah, as I said to you before, before his injury, he was our top former. Uh, shots on target, we really don't have that. Uh, passes attempt, Gooder and Solomon, our centre backs, lovely. So if I print up our top performers, we've got, uh, let's clear all this now, so it's going to be irrelevant. There we go. Right, so Maloney is our top performing player. Yeah, his form came right at the right time as well, 7.32, 7.15. Got 16 goals, 16 assists for us, so that's 32 goal contributions, really, really good. Harry Green, as I said, his form when he's come back. I mean, he had a good game last game, which is nice. 14 assists, eight goals, good. I probably want to keep him. Colson, we'll try and keep him for next season, just for that experience. Nice backup striker, be nice. James Oliver, he was on loan. He got 6.98. His form went off though, uh, but he was very part player for our start 12, sub 11. I said part player. Dom Tier, his form was up and down. He got better as the season got on. Colville, he actually kept Oliver out. I was quite impressed with that, if I'm honest. Colville, beginning of the season, probably did well. Second half of the season for us, just a bit up and down. Jake Charles, not bad impacts up. Started 15 games, 16 uh, off the bench, scored 13. Not bad as a backup striker. Uh, last five games, yeah, gooder, gooder. And where's Solomon? I mean, they're down there, but they're high, high, high sixes, right? Uh, F1 got high sixes. Who's our poor performers? Oh, yeah, Callum Griffin. He's played one game, got 6.2, and never played him since. Probably quite harsh on him, if I'm honest, but 6.2, it's just awful. And then Matt. Bancroft, uh, backup goalkeeper, again, just wasn't that great when he did play. Quelta, yeah, he's going to be gone. Perva, he's got good stats and he played a lot for us. Just not good enough. That's why I brought in Joe Nolan and Joe Nolan, slight improvement. Brown and Wills, going to be gone. It's going to be another rebuild by the looks of it. There's some good players that we want to keep. We want to keep that core of our team, but we're going up another level. Now, we have played teams above us, obviously in for FA Trophy and for FA Cup. And I think we 
can hold our own if I'm honest. So if I can bring in some reinforcements, maybe someone to replace Olsen up top, but can get those 25 goals, a bit more younger. Olsen as a backup, I might have to have two backup strikers. But then again, I could keep Charles. He wasn't too bad. But is he going to be good enough for a step up in division? Who knows? So next season, my aims, I guess, is avoid relegation. But I like aiming a little bit higher, if I'm honest. Mid-table, final push towards the playoffs if we can. Who knows? It's going to be an interesting season. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button so it can go out to the world. If you like this type of content and want to follow this series, you know what you need to do. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.